Hello friends, this is Samo once again from Sony Tech and welcome to part 5 of our series. So this time we're looking at what use status and what use effects is. So I would like to see if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, um, consider subscribing. Please like this video, please share and comment as well. Alright, so let's begin. Okay, so to use use state in React or React Native, first of all, we would have to import use state from React. So it's going to be in a destructured form. Alright, so essentially use state hook is used to so this is to track a state change in a function. So essentially, use state accepts an initial value and returns two values. So the current state and a function that updates the state. Alright, so now let's import use state in React. So you come up here and you do so you put a comma and you do use state from React. Right, cool. Okay, so um so we do const oh so get up copilot that has given me something already so since i didn't type script we're going to add the types here so it's going to be number and now let's come down with my code i'm sure my cool pilot is going to do a lot for me okay so now let's return counts and let's see uh let's do something in our console okay so we can see that when i display this dynamically i see zero here let me add some styles to this so it becomes bigger so style equals um font size let's set this to 20 and make this bold or um 900 okay okay so great let me just make it 30 okay so when i come down here and i say do a console.log and i set out count you see we get zero in our console so essentially this is the first state, the initial state and this is the function that updates the state so when i set this to c10 and i save okay so now let's add a button so we'll be looking at what, um, buttons and custom buttons very soon in the course okay so let's add a button to update the state so thank you copilot okay so we have this button here um with the name of increment and have this function that targets the set count function and we see count path one okay so now let's see if so that the ui updates okay so essentially when i click you're going to add one so we have 11 so there's another way you can do this to keep this a bit clean so i can grab everything here and just do updates updates counts okay now i come down here and write this function so say const update counts and i just set counts to one so it's similar so essentially this is okay so we're going to be getting an error let me get rid of this here and see if this should fix that infinity loop issue okay so essentially this is um about use states and with use states you can also pass um a string here so let me pass a string and i can set this to c john and let me do this name and set name sorry about my background noise okay so let me get rid of all these guys and hit us up okay so when i output name it's going to output john all oh, right so seeing for this one okay so now let's look at okay so i can pass in multiple states here i can also pass in an object here all right so essentially this is all you need to know about use states right, so now let's jump over or head over to what use effect is so to add use effects you also import use effects like so and use effect, use effect sorry is also used to perform side functions so like when the components mount or when the screen mounts so for data fetching and stuff like that all right great so let me show you an example of use effect one of my apps before we continue so let me drag the screen here let me drag this all right so i have one project of mine here 
So let me show you a real life example of using FIT. So in my versus component, so I did an import of a use effects hook here. All right, great. And I'm using it for data fetching. So this is my function to fetch the data. So I'm fetching a random by uh, DB Bible versus. So the normal fetch API, and I come here in my use effects and I call the function. So anytime the page mounts or the screen mounts, it's going to perform or run this function. And this array here is called a dependency array. So if your function or your your side fetching or side function needs or um, depends on any additional value, like let's say some props or some states, you pass them here. All right. All right. The video is getting a bit long, so now let's do a real world. Um, let's an example live. Okay. So I've imported use effect and a function, and it depends. And this is a dependency. So okay. No, not this. So now let's do. Let's try and fetch something from an API. So um, I found this here. Uh, let's try and use this. Okay. Okay. So I. So let's create. So const. Let's see API URL. And we set it to this. So an equal to sign here. Right. But before we continue, let's do this. Let's call this data and set data. And I'm trusting my ear to give me something. Okay, let me see. Let me go through and see this is right. So I'm fetching from this API the URL, get a response, transfer it into a JSON format. Okay, so now let's. Alright guys, so essentially this is how to use these effects and use states instead of React Native and React using TypeScript. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Bye.